let's try to find a value of y for those log expressions. Remember log expressions go hand in hand with exponential um, expressions, right? So how do we make sense of this? Let's just review a little bit. Base in log is a base in exponential forms. A log means exponent of five, the base. So that means y, so let's use y to represent this log, five, base five of 25. That means five raised by y equals to 25. Well, 25 is a five squared, so y equals to two. Let's see two. So we can rewrite this as a three raised by y equals to one. Well, one means three raised by zero, right? One is any number raised by zero power. So that means y equals to zero in this case. So it's a good thing to remember, log of any base, if the value is one, is always zero, right? Because it shows here, it's always zero. Let's see three. Three means a 16 raised by, y, raised by y equals to four. 16 raised by y equals to four. Well, 16 is four squared, right? Four squared then raised by y, that means four raised by two y equals the four. Well, the power of four by default is one. So that means two y equals the one. Y equals the half in this case. Let's skip four now, let's go to five. Five is the same as two. When the value is one, so it's a zero because five raised by zero power equals to one. This one, y equals to two. Right? Let me write those answers. This one, y equals to zero. This one, y equals the half. Now let's say six. Think about two raised by what power equals the eight? It has to be three, right? Two raised by three equals the eight. Seven raised by what power equals one over seven? Remember one over seven is a seven raised by negative one, right? So y is negative one. Seven raised by negative one is one over seven. Nine. Y raised by five equals to 32. Why? Because y happens in the base now. Y raised by five equals to 32. That means y equals to two. Because two to the Power five equals thirty two. So it's base two. Let's say ten. Nine raised by negative half equals the y. So nine raised by negative half equals to y. So y equals to this. But what is nine raised by negative half? First, when it's raised by negative number, we put a one in the numerator and push it to the denominator. Right. Then what's nine raised by half? Nine raised by half is the square root of nine. Well, we know square root of nine is three. Mm -hmm. So in this case, y equals to one third. That's 11. Four raised by y equals the one eighth. Four raised by y 
equals to one eighth. Well, what's one eighth? One eighth can be written as a two raised by a negative three. Because eight is two raised by three, but eight in the denominator, so they so do they induce a negative sign, negative exponent. And four is two squared. So it's two raised by two y. Two raised by two y equals to three, negative three. Now the base are the same, the force is the um, exponent to be the same. So that means two y equals to negative three. And the y equals to negative three over two. Let's see this, I will have three more. Let's see four. Two raised by y equals one eighth. So y has to be negative three, right? Because two raised by negative three is one eighth. Three raised by y equals one over nine. Well, that's a three raised by negative two. So this is a negative two. 1 over 9 is a 3 raised by negative 2. 9 raised by y equals 1 over 81. Or negative 2 again. Because 9 raised by negative 2 is 1 over 9 squared. It's 1 over 81. Let's evaluate some of those values. Whenever the value is one, doesn't matter what the base is, it's always zero. Because three raised by zero equals to one. When the value and the base are the same, that's one. Because four raised by one is four. Well, this one equals to three, because there's a one of the log property seen. If the value has exponent, the exponent goes to the front of log. Then we have three log base seven of seven. Well, base and the value are the same. It becomes one, so it becomes a three. B to the log B three. Look, the base is a B, right? And log it just means the exponent of B. So the value is a three. So this one is equals to the value three. Let's see this two, three and four. So three base is twenty five. And uh, the value is 5 cubed or 125. 125. So let's see this equals to some y. So this means 25 raised by y equals to 5 raised by 3. Or 25 is 5 squared, right? So 25 raised by y can be written as 5 raised by 2y. Base the same, forces the exponent to be the same. So 2y equals 3. So y equals to 3 over 2. Let's see, 4. 16 raised by log 4, 8. Well, this is 4. So we want to rewrite 16 as 4 squared. 4 squared, the 2 will go in front of a log. But 2 can go to the exponent of 8, the value. So 4 raised by log of 4 of a squared. Well, a squared is 64. Right. So remember, this means, the whole expression means the log base 4 of 64 is the exponent 
of the base four. So this equals to 64. Oops. All right, let's finish by now. 